Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 24th AngularJS tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about the location service. <laughs> okay then gang, so over the last couple of tutorials what we have done is take a look at validation or form validation in AngularJS. And uh, to do that, we've gone ahead and created this swanky little form right here, which offers some neat feedback to a user when they don't fill it out correctly like that. What we've not done so far is handled what happens when a user clicks send. So we're going to do that in this tutorial. Now, in a real world application, what you're probably going to want to do is grab that data and either forward it to an email inbox or uh, send it to a database or something. Now, that's kind of beyond the scope of this video, so I'm not going to do that here, but what I will do is show you the, uh, the location service in AngularJS, which lets us forward the user when they successfully complete the form and click send to a new URL or route and uh, show a new view such as a thank you message or something like that. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is create a new view for that success message and I've already done that. I've gone into views, created a new file called contact-success.html. Then this is just a div with a class of content and then in here a H2 saying thanks a bunch for getting in touch. All right. So now what we need to do is handle this kind of submit event. And we know to do that, we use the ng submit directive. So we pop that right up here on the form, ng hyphen submit, and we set that equal to a function which will fire when this is clicked, all right? So let's do that. Let's set it equal to a function called send message. Now, obviously, nothing's gonna happen when we click this once it's filled in because this function doesn't yet exist. And actually, no controller even controls this view yet. If we look in our app.js, in the contact route, there's no controller here controlling it. So what we need to do is set up a contact controller and then specify that right here, which we'll do now. Controller, contact, controller. So we need to go ahead and create this controller now so that when this is clicked, we can define a function on this controller called send message here, which kind of handles this event and sends the user to that success route, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go and create our contact controller right down here at the bottom. And by the way, guys, this is getting pretty large, this file now. In a real world application, what you'd probably wanna do is separate this into separate kind of chunks of JavaScript, such as uh, make a controller direct right, right here and then stick all your controllers in there separately in different JavaScript files. And just remember to link them all up in the index file. I'm just going to pop it in here for now because it's quicker. So let's make that new controller. We'll say my ninja app dot controller and then we'll call this contact controller. And then we need to pass in our dependencies and the function into this array. So the dependencies we're going to use are scope and location. So we're going to use both of those in this controller. And the location service right there is what we're going to use to send the user to a different route. So we also need to pass these into the function as well. So scope and location. If we can spell them correctly, that is. Okay, cool. And then we can open that function. And this is where the magic will happen. So we need to define that function called send message that we popped right here when someone clicks submit. So let's do that on the scope object. Dot send message. That equals a function where we're going to use the location service. So to use this location service, all we need to do is say $location dot path, use the path method, and then send it to a different route or a different URL. Okay, so the URL that I want is gonna be contact hyphen success, like that. Now currently, if we went to this route or this path, all would happen is we'd get redirected to the homepage. So I'll put it up there and we redirect to the homepage. Now why is that? That's because we've not set up a route for contact hyphen success. Yeah, we've got the view, but that doesn't mean anything. We want to link that route to that view. Okay, we need to do that right here. So let's just copy this for now. 
and paste it down here and we'll say when the URL or the route is contact success, we want to use the contact hyphen success view and the controller is going to be the same controller, contact controller. Okay. So now when we visit contact success, we should get that message. Thanks a bunch, uh, a bunch for getting in touch. So let's just go back to the contact page. Now everything should be hooked up. We've got our send message function right there. And the location service is using the path method to send us to contact success. Let's just put in a forward slash right there. Okay, so let's try filling this in. We'll say crystal, and the email can be crystal at whatever.com, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's click send. And now it redirects us using this location.path to forward slash contact success. And we get that view up there, okay? So that, guys, is the location service. Um, if you have any questions about it whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.